question to Bwana Awiti. Now, one in every five youth and adolescents aged between 15 to 34 years in uh, Mombasa are unemployed and they're not seeking work. This makes the county to have the highest number of idle young people. Do you believe that this has a direct link to the region's dominant cultures and how do you propose to handle this? Thank you. It is true that we have enough resources. It is only it's true the, the, the current administration did not plan well. First, we have port here. Secondly, we have a blue economy. The, se the third one, we have hotel industry. The fourth one, we have market, which you can improve. Let me start from marketing. The only uh, market we have, it is only one or two in the whole uh, sub-county. If we can create an environment to do businesses, how are youth when I saw Patakazi, Wafanya Katika, every sub-county. So we need to devolve these services we created, Ijengwe, Masoko, Yende. When we talk about ports, all of our internationals, we are not stopping development to expand railway, because railway hasn't been there. We need the free economic. We are not supposed to be dictated the national government that they have to take our revenue to the upcountry people. We need free trade. The secondly, we need to negotiate the revenue coming from ports. 25% internationally should be remain here. That one can give us a chance to create jobs with extra revenue. Because port, port belongs to Mombasa. When we also build conference at the hotels, definitely we love so many tourists coming in, the visitor, then they upload the services to the hotel. So we cannot complain that we don't have resources. It's a poor planning for current administration. And if I'm given a chance, the first thing will be economic. You cannot start building boats without building cold storage. We need to set a cold storage so that youth can be, we can invest to youth. And that one I believe that can create job to every society. We cannot complain that we don't have resources. We have. They only need planning. Okay. And I can do the best. Bona Kitsao, my question was about the reluctance of uh, youth in Mombasa to actually look for work. Yes? Uh, it is one thing to create employment, but it's a totally different one to encourage people to actually go out and work. Now, what do you propose to do towards reversing that? And you'll get 60 seconds to answer that. Jambola kwanza mbalo nitakalulifanya ni kwa sababu watu lazima wapate mafunzo. Tuko na culture hapa ambayo hata hakuna hope kwa vijana. Hata hawana tumaini kwa sababu wale waliotangulia hawakusoma wala hawakusukuma maisha ndio wakafika pale walipofika. Mtu ametokezea from the blue hamujui alipata vipi mali, yazunguka Kenya nzima, amevaa ma bling bling na yeye ndio role model. Na wapwani vijana wa kwetu wanaona hiyo ndio njia. Sasa badilia yeye ajitume aende katafute ajira yeye yataka kuva bling bling apate gari kubwa aanze ku floss mbele ya watu utafanyaje hivyo kama hutoki jasho it's a cultural problem and we, you see there is two ways to this number one, lazima watu wetu wapate mafunzo Five seconds ya pili lazima tuanze na wale ambao ni wadogo ili kubadilisha akili zao okay uh, on this same question about uh, shafi 60 seconds Eh, kabla hatujaenda huko mwanzo nafikiri ninatafutiana na mwenzangu Dr. William Kingi kuhusu maneno ya vijana kwa sababu yeye amekuwa kwa uongozi kwa miaka mitano kama kuna kitu alikuwa ni yarekebishe angaweza kurekebisha lakini sasa hivi anakuja hapa anatuelezea kwamba zile mbinu ambazo tuko nazo nafikiri mbinu hizo haziendi mahali pazuri yeye alikuwa mbinu zile ambao yuko nazo he had a chance to rectify those things twende hili swali la reluctance kwa vijana ni kwa sababu hawa vijana mwanzo hawaoni umuhimu wa kuendelea mwanzo na, na masomo kwa sababu viongozi waliopo hawatilii maanani elimu hawaoni umuhimu kwa sababu viongozi waliopo hawawezi kuwaeka katika njia ambazo hawa vijana ndio viongozi wa kesho that's why wao pia wameluzi ile hope ya kuona maisha ni rahisi 
na tunaweza kufuata hivi kwa sababu ya wale viongozi ambao tuko nao hawatilii manani elimu na tunawaona wanapata utajiri wa rahisi rahisi bila wao kuchoka that's why community yetu imekuwa sasa imebezi sana na masala hayo ya kuwa wacha watu wa relax okay thank you for that wana uh, wana kingi there was a comment that you need to respond to as well as comment on this as well you get a minute and a half nafikiri labda hakueleza ile swali hakulielewa zile swali vile ilikuwa limeulizwa ilikuwa imeulizwa vijana wetu mbona wako katika hali ya kwamba wako hopeless na mimi nikaanasema hapa hopelessness ni kwa sababu hawajapata nafasi ya kuweza kupata elimu na kuweza kupata zile skills zinahitajika ndio hilo swali lako sasa kulijibu kuweza kupata makazi i don't think the youth in mombasa are reluctant to take employment i think the biggest problem we have is that they don't have the requisite skills to be able to get into self employment and also to be employed the majority of those youth and in my government what i will i will do is to make sure that we have at least a proper vocational training institute in every sub county access is very important so once we skill our youth then now we can open up opportunities for them to start business we will remove that hopelessness which i have been talking about thank you very much uh Hassan Omar on this issue of reluctance do you believe it's a cultural problem and do you believe it's something that can be sorted out Mimi fikra yangu ni kwamba sisi si wa vivu Mimi nilizaliwa Mombasa I work hard naamka kila asubuhi saa 11 for my for the entirety of my life tumekuwa tukipigana tukipigana for one thing or another for dignity for education kupigana na umaskini kupigania viti kama hivi sisi si wa vivu hiyo ni ile wazungu wanaita systemic marginalization imefanywa kwa kusudi watu kusema hawa ni wavivu ili wawaibie mali yenu waseme hawa ni watu wa kuongojea nazi kuanguka ili wachukulie mashamba yenu sasa ndio tumesema yote haya yaliyotendeka sisi ndio tunaweza sasa kuleta ule ukombozi kwa hivyo ule uvivu ni kasumba watoto watu walijazwa na hata ukija hapa wale watu wanafanya michezo ya kuigiza hata katika misaha yao wanakuja hapa na sema wanaona unaona vile wanavyofanya katika church na wengine ati Fatuma niongojee nifunge mlango na Fatuma we must shift the mindset tutageuza hizo fikra kama hizo watu wajue watu wa Mombasa si wavivu na wako na uwezo wa, wa kufanya kazi na sisi pia ni kielelezo we have been diligent Kenyans who have made a contribution Bona Omar said you get uh, the final uh, word on this before I hand it over to Suleiman Yeah in fact uh, hii perception ya kuwa elimu tunaitafuta ili tupate kazi ni makosa kwa mimi elimu is a tool for, for progress mtu mwenye elimu na asiyekuwa na elimu wakipewa kazi moja mwenye elimu ataifanya vizuri zaidi kuliko asiyekuwa na na hapa katika mji wetu huu inaonyesha wazi kwamba watu wamekaliwa kwa kutumia vigezo kama hivyo kusema kwamba sijui hawa watu wa pwani ni watu wa vivu wa manini ambapo si kweli ni exposure hawajapewa exposure katika yale maeneo ambayo wanaweza kuyafanyia kazi kama hii blue economy imezaliwa leo bahari iko miaka yote kwa nini ianze sasa lakini watu hawakuitumia toka pale mwanzo kwa ajili ya nini yetu ndio sababu ina inaanzishwa hivi sasa sasa kwa hiyo ni, ni ile mipangilio ya serikali ambayo iliyokuwa hapo ama nini haikwenda kisawa sawa ikaleta shida zote. Na asante sana. Na niwakumbushe tu ambao ni wageni wetu hapa ambao wamekuja simu zenu ziwe zimeziweka katika silent mode kwa sababu nyingine